Putin orders Russian government to try to meet Paris climate goals. Here's a summary of the article. Two-minute read, Moscow, President Vladimir Putin has signed a decree ordering the Russian government to try to meet the 2015 Paris Agreement to fight climate change, but stressed that any action must be balanced with the need to ensure strong economic development. Russia, the world's fourth largest emitter of greenhouse gases, has previously signaled its acceptance of the accord even as environmentalists have criticized Moscow for shunning compulsory emissions targets for companies backed with fines. In a decree published on Wednesday, a public holiday in Russia, Putin formally ordered the government to work towards a cut in greenhouse gas emissions of up to 70% against 1990 levels by 2030, that, said Putin, would also mean harnessing the capability of forests and other ecosystems to absorb such gases. He said any action to cut emissions must take account of the need to ensure steady and balanced socio-economic development, and ordered the government to draw up and ratify a socio-economic strategy up to 2050 that factored in lower emissions. A previous draft of such a strategy has drawn criticism from green groups for allowing emissions to rise before falling. Climate change poses a serious challenge for Russia, whose economy relies heavily on oil and gas production, as well as mining. He has praised the Paris Pact in the past, while saying it would require countries to modernize industry, something likely to cost big business billions of dollars and incur job losses, an eventuality he said had to be properly planned for. This post received a score of 25,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Is that a good college try or a try to meet them? Neither. He is just making fun of the US pulling out of the agreement, nothing else. Maybe there will be a save the environment race like there was a space race. If we could just convince our leaders to go for this. It feels like Putin is basically just trying to fuck with Trump for fun now that he's set to lose the election. Passes laws saying no former presidents can be tried for crimes now saying he wants them to meet the Paris Climate Agreement goals. Just a giant F you to the orange Cheeto in chief. That famous quote where Putin called Trump, bright, that American media ran with and Trump embraced as a compliment was anything but. In Russian calling someone bright translates to flamboyant. It is usually said about a person when you want to describe someone stupid without hurting feelings. In English flamboyant is more neutral, whereas in Russia it is more like a light insult. It really doesn't even require much looking into. Just a basic level of critical thinking skills. It's always been very obvious how amused by Trump Putin is. Every time he's done a photo op or press conference with him Putin looks like how a parent looks when they're pulling a joke on their child but the child doesn't understand. Greater than looks like how a parent looks when they're pulling a joke on their child this is a very fitting description. Greater than Putin's order came with a big caveat however. He said any action to cut emissions must take account of the need to ensure steady and balanced socio-economic development translating. This is yet another demonstration of Putin's peculiar sense of humor, like when he poisons people with polonium that can be tracked to Russian reactors. So what? Meet the climate goal at all costs in a country whose economy relies heavily on timber and oil exports. Who's paying the bills? Random Reddit trolls. I am well aware that meeting Paris Accord goals would be difficult for Russia, and so is Putin. That's why his decree is a kind of trolling. Anyhow, maybe meeting the goals is difficult for everyone, regardless of economic peculiarities. I tried to find a list of which countries are on track and I found this one with just seven of them and even so I'm heavily skeptical about India. There's no way India is actually on pace with meeting this right? No, never. Weird username dude. I agree. The more nations that meet Paris climate goals the more embarrassing it is for those that don't. Don't sit idly by and wait for it to happen, though. R. Climate Offensive. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.